Hello, fellow poor people. No offense or anything. I'm Ryan. Welcome to or back to my channel. Today, I'm starting the first episode of my new series, How to Be Poor and Still Ride Horses. That's not what it's actually called. So, the first episode is what we're doing today, and it's just a little overall tips on how to afford to do this expensive sport full of rich people. All of these are actually things that I do and like use. I have experience. Listen to me. So the first tip would be to have rich parents who pay for everything for you. I'm kidding. So my first actual tip is to shop secondhand. If three actual stores and then Facebook. So I'm gonna start with Facebook. There's so much stuff on there and people just wanna get rid of it so it's generally really cheap and they also will generally take offers on it. You can find literally anything from like clothes to saddles to any other kind of tack. The three stores would be Tried Equestrian, Used Horse Stuff, and the Tack Hack. All of which I've ordered from before. They're all great. Taylor, who owns the Tried Equestrian, is like one of the nicest people I've ever talked to. And Used Horse Stuff has great customer service. I bought breeches from them and they ripped the first time I tried them on and they gave me a full refund. And the Tack Hack I've shopped at before and they are also great. And the great thing about these is you can also consign there. So you basically send your stuff there. They'll send you a free kit. You send your stuff to them and you get part of the money with doing like no work. My second tip is that you can't believe other people's biases because a lot of people will have like biases against things, especially less expensive things. So like just because the horse you have isn't a $100,000 import doesn't mean that it's not a good horse. There's nothing wrong with things that you have that are cheaper, like at all. People are just very biased and rude and elitist and you can't let that get to you which is really hard and you need to just buy what you want and what you think will work for you whether other people want it for themselves or not if that makes sense because there's so many people who can afford really expensive things but that doesn't mean that you have to in order to succeed because you really don't my next tip would be to have good relationships with the people at your barn now I want to say you should try to have good relationships with them anyway because they're probably nice people and you know you want to be friendly and all that but there are some selfish reasons to have good relationships and they will save you money or make you money or both first of all people who you have good relationships with especially if they're more wealthy might just like give their stuff away or sell it for really cheap to you because you have a good relationship with them people will literally just give stuff away my friend got free godo breeches because they didn't fit somebody and she just literally just gave them to her and they were brand new with tags or if they're selling it they might give you like a discount or let you do payments or something also they might ask you to ride their horse if you have a good relationship with them which is super helpful if you can't afford to have your own horse because then it gives you a horse to ride maybe they don't want to pay for training rides or they just don't have time to ride their horse all the time. Lastly, if you have a good relationship with people, they might give you opportunities to get paid, like cleaning their tack, which I do at my barn weekly. Like I sign on an email and people pay me to clean their tack. So that's also a good option. Or babysit their kids either at the barn or at their house or like doing chores for them so yeah they might give you like opportunities to get paid or they might pay you just because you like did something nice for them and they pay you for it the next thing would be to try to find a working student position or ask your trainer or barn owner if they have a working student position or if they could open one for you working student positions kind of vary and i'm gonna probably do a video on it separately but basically it's like you work in return for lessons or board or lease or something like that. I'm a working student, I work in return for lessons. It can be a really good opportunity and it can also be a really great learning opportunity. And it's really great if you want to eventually go into like a professional field of horses, like a trainer or literally anything because you're gonna learn a lot. And another thing I do wanna talk about is not having your own horse is not the end of the world. It's very nice and there are a lot of advantages to it, but there are alternatives that can be just as good or have like different pros than having your own horse, like leasing 
or riding like extra horses at your barn i don't know if everybody's barn does this but like my barn if a horse like is a lesson horse or a horse just doesn't have anybody to ride it that day you can ask them and they'll be like yeah like we have this extra horse that can be a good way to ride a horse even if you don't have your own you could have like an assigned lesson horse so you're always riding the same horse in lessons which can be kind of similar to having your own horse and it's just not the end of the world having your own horse is super expensive and if that's the one thing that's keeping you from riding like there are ways to get around it it's better to ride and not have your own horse than to not ride at all i mean having your own horse is great but there are ways to ride and enjoy it without having your own horse those are all my tips for today all my like general tips for affording it i will be back with some more episodes to this series i'm planning a how to afford to horse show like i said i'm gonna do a video on working students so subscribe if you want to see more episodes of this series and i will talk to you guys later comment below if you have any other tips that i maybe missed or that you do to help you afford it bye